Okay guys, this is something that we talk about all the time and that is tires. And I'm gonna show you how our tire held up on the Great Escape, over 12,000 miles with a Dunlap American Elite. All right, guys, we're at Pictra Harley Davidson today, and we're going to be talking tires. That's right. So if you don't know, tires, Steph and I did the Great Escape, and we did 12,000 or so miles. We have their tire that we put on here at Pictra Harley Davidson, and it made the whole trip. The front one, we got a screw in, so I won't be able to do a review on the front, but that rear did make it. We're going to be looking at how it wore and how it held up. Are you ready, Crow? Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Like I said, guys, this is the Dunlop All-American Elite. As you can see here, before we even take, take the tire off, you can see a little cupping in the tire, plus some splits here in the rubber. Is this normal? Is that just par for the wear? I don't know. We're going to talk about that, though. Looking at this uh, Dunlop American Elite, Steph and I have ran for 12,000 or so many miles, but as Crow has got the tire off, we got it up over here in the rack, and Larry and I and Crow are looking at it. We can already see this right here, Larry. Mm -hmm. And then got it. right here and right here, we got some here. Yeah. See, then you've got here, here, here. There's another place split. There's a little place there, little here, but I mean, that one was, there's another one. Here's another one. Ooh, look at this one. Ain't that a beaut? It's only in the center. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. All right, this part looks amazing. amazing. This part right here, oh, no, no, that's, that just that's just normal. That's not normal. That's just normal. Come on, a little that. But it is a low lope in that. What did you hit? I don't know. Nothing. And you see how low this is right here, Larry? Yeah. What's that from? Could be. Uh, they're going to say a lot of things. They're going to probably say it's because of air. It could be because we're not as skinny as we should be. So, okay. Overweight. All right. So, Larry does touch on something right there. I do want to tell you all how we run. We run hard, fast, and heavy. All climates, mm -hmm. all the time. Steph and I are totally loaded on that bike. So we yep. are totally loaded all the time. Right. And we're running hard. And you know what we run in. Everything. Dirt roads. Everything. Everything. Okay. But see, this could be the fact that, because see, you've got it. How far did you want to go back? Your cupping is starting here, and it's starting to flake off. That's what that hole is. Okay. Same thing with here. You've got your, now you've got Split. more. And then this. Huge Whoa, thing. look at this. That see? could be where the turn Look at this. Yeah. So this is really major to me. Well, it's right here and right here. It's only here. a couple of people's lives. There's more people out there. So that's a good point. I'm glad you brought that yeah. up. Since it is mine, um, if we take this tire off, Larry, uh -huh. yeah. and we look from the inside, are we going to see that splitting starting on the we inside? We don't know because we don't know what the uh, inside is going to look like until we tear it apart because of the the way everything is made, how they're designed. Well, they're lapped they're, over. Yeah, lapped over if they're there's too much heat from the outside in or from the inside out we won't know that until you take the tire off okay so and take it apart i guess the next it. thing we need to do is take this tire apart once again this is the dunlap american elite is this normal wear or is it because i don't check my air pressure but what do you consider common is it ten thousand tires out there you only got three that happen is that common <clears throat> It happens, yes. 
So what I what, what I asked no. Larry right then when we start recording is I was like, Larry, do you see this very often? And your reply was No. You don't see it very often. Not very often, but it's not uncommon, if that makes any sense. It does happen because just like the things that we were talking about before, you're overweighted, you've got you're running in the hot part of the day. It's got so many factors with tires. That's the hard part about it is are they going to say that you're overloaded, you, you ran it when it was 110 degrees outside, oh, yeah. and you were braking too much, and you went over a rough road. They're okay, gonna make up a, a I, I understand that, but you and I both know that we get on this damn bike and we run. Right. And in my opinion, uh -huh. that tower should not look that way. It should be able to hold up. It should. Because it's still got some, some tread, tread left. left. I don't think it should be to that point, myself. That's my opinion. So what I'm gonna ask you viewers out there watching this video, what's your opinion on how this looks? Let us know in the comment. And I'm also curious to know what tower you run. So if you have a favorite tower, let me know. I may try it next. And, okay, and don't forget, we gotta, it, we gotta tell them, make sure they understand the beggar tire is different than uh, any other tire. Cause this tire is not made the same way as weight rated and all that other stuff for it light vehicle you know what i mean yeah that so kind of thing. what larry was saying here is make it very clear of what this tower is doing for us and we're running on that it's a 2019 road glide special like i said it's staff and i were totally loaded and if you guys watch our videos you know we're running in 117 degree weather i mean right. it gets extreme the stuff that we right. do uh but still yet i uh i was not expecting that right because we don't know when this was going to crack and go boom you know, it might now you might be running on a Maypop. Dude, that looks See, very Maypopish to me. What do you so think, Crow? I mean, I'm, a, I'm an expert in Maypop, so yeah. That's Crow's favorite tower to run is a Maypop. So oh. it really just all depends on what we can't, don't have a crystal ball saying, hey, this is going to last you another 200 miles. This is going to last a test ride. I'm Real no quick, idea. Larry, what tower do you run? I What's run a stock point? Dunlap on my uh, 2011 Heritage and a uh, stock Dunlap on my 1992 FXR. You have any engine work done? Yeah. Okay. I thought I was going to get him there. He's at, he's my guy. I go to without this. He's like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So what I guess we'll do now is we'll get Crow to take this off the rim and we'll look on the inside of this Dunlap. Crow, you just checked the air? Yes, sir. What was it? 38. Should be what? 40. Okay, so we weren't far off. No, sir. You also okay. had that uh, TPMS valve stem thing, so whenever I took it off, I could have squeezed some air out, so you could be sitting right where you need to be. Okay. Well, we're trying. Yeah. yeah. Your weight, your, your weight rating on that saddlebag is only 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. How much weight's got in there? Mm, 45. 45, right? I would say so 45 pounds. That's why a lot of it's going to come into is when they're going to say warranty, they're going to say no, because you've already overloaded that. Did you already overload that? So now they're going to say you overloaded it and none of this is their problem. I'm just going to let you know that's what they're going to say. But that's good point because i've never thought about rating on my saddlebag it's whatever i can fit in it and right. close the door right i'll be that's honest what everybody, but that's what everybody does if, it, if the door closes it's good to go right even that rack on the top has a weight rating yes and i've ripped one of those in half before yeah see all right great point that larry brings up here it, it really is easy to get pissy at the tower company yeah it is it is um, but you brought up a good point. You were looking at our saddlebags. We got probably 45 pounds in them where they should have 20 pounds. 20 pounds, that's it, max. That's like and then our tour pack, you know as good as I do, and everybody watching mm -hmm. how Steph and I run that bike. It's underweight. Okay. So <laughs> you're, you're, what, you're, what Larry's trying to say right now is kind of like, come on now. Let's be a little fair let's, and let's, let's tell the truth about the whole thing. Well, we, we're not lying. We just... The real, the, the whole thing is, is I am going to put everything I can in there. Yep. I'm not going to put air in there and then close the lid, tail air in that 20 yep. pounds. Yep. But so. They it, put a weight rating on it for a reason. Well, and that's the deal, man, because we we don't think about this stuff. Ah. As, a, as a regular person right. that's not a right. mechanic, we're not thinking, well, hell, this should have lasted longer because it, 
It says it does. Right. What we have on this is right at 12,000. I think it's 11.6 is what we have on this tall. So the, what I was noticing here is if you notice, you can see you've got a, a dark black spot here, two spaces, a black spot. You have that all the way around on both sides. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It so like that, smudge mark. But, right, but it's not smudge mark, it's from heat. So if you take the tire, see where I marked it? Here on the outside, and then it's marked here. If you rotate it, you see the tires marked here, and then you've got a, a yeah, your you, spot. You mark here. them here. Right, and then since once we roll it over, see this? See this spot right here? Yep. Then you've got two spots underneath there, and you've got it again. Two more spots, and you've got it again. So what you're saying, where those low places are right here, really war, is the dark places it's inside the, dark the top. Spot. So that would tell me that this is about ready to go boom because that's starting to separate, that's starting to separate, and it's every other. So I believe what I'm hearing, Larry, is that's getting thin on the outside and it's causing heat, and that's gaining heat right there. That's Correct. because of the that's heat deposit right there. Exactly, and you can see every every peak and every lobe has got one. So eventually this tire would go, I'm separate. Because of, cause, well, because of overheat. Yeah. That's what it is. I it mean, makes sense. Part of the deal. So in close, this is what I would say on your tires. Okay. You just need to watch your tires. We all ride different. We're all riding different places. We ride different weight, different mm -hmm. styles. Yeah. We need to watch the air pressure. There's no doubt that's going right. to make a huge. Well, and play it's not only in the that, lab. but your gross vehicle weight has a lot to do with it, also. Um, if you look at your owner's manual, it'll tell you gross vehicle weight. Your bike is designed with this much weight, and it can only handle this much more weight. That's why they put weight ratings on everything. So yep. they don't, and they also count for passenger weight and the rider weight. So you and me versus Co, you know, she can, her tires are gonna last longer if we all do the same thing because she doesn't weigh as much as we do. Right? So does that make sense about, about what the whole deal is? That's why they're trying to say yeah. that they can say that I'm gonna deny the claim because well, I mean, that's that's the point we're making is how much money are we going to get out of this car? Right. You know, bang for the buck. Right. That sounds bad. But, but that is what it is. How how far can we get on this path and make it pay? And how much is your life worth? What's it worth? We say that all the time. Yeah. We did we did get the, the money's worth out of this car, I feel. Um, what do we go back with now? Uh, we did have a screw in our tower in hot springs, hot springs montana where we had to get whatever they had right. and it was the stock stock tire yeah was it 407 is that correct yeah 407 is that. so i guess we have that we'll just put that on the back to match the match because right. you like to do that well yeah because you well you want the tread patterns to match you want the same compound same maker same everything it's, if you can keep everything equal it's, it's always easier we talk about that a lot too so running match tires front and back yeah Okay, well, I guess that uh, pretty much shows our tire, what we got in it, how it wore. It was really cool to be able to see the inside and really get our eyes on that. You said we could cut this tire in half? Yeah, we can just cut it in half, get a, get a cross section of it. Should we cut the tire in half? Hell yes. So we're going to get busy real quick and cut this tire in half. Apparently, uh, Crow knows right the tool. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> and you can see really well here what Larry was talking about. So if we zoom in here, we can see these different, it looks like dark places in the tire, a different coloration in the rubber. So what that is, is what we're seeing is that's where the heat, where it's heating up. Because if I roll over right there, you'll see where that's getting low. So that discoloration is directly underneath this. So you, that shows how hot that's getting. And it's starting to wear. Right here, Crow cut the piece out where it's really splitting, as you guys can see. And right under here, we'll see what it looks like on the inside. I've got my finger on it right in here. So again, it really doesn't look much different than these other patches, but they're a little bigger, if you guys can see on camera. So it's definitely gaining heat, and of course, separating. 
like Larry said, it probably wasn't far away from popping. But definitely, we got the wear out of this tire. Well, that's too bad we didn't get a better cut, but you can see the distance. Oh yeah, there's see, no that's, doubt. Well, see, that's what you're looking for is the distance. Because remember oh. what we are talking about, let's see if we can get it up here so we can see it. That's the whole deal is what we were talking about before with the, it's being woven. Mm -hmm. You see the, the, and it's really hard to see, but you've just got to see the distance here, distance here, then you're looking over here, the distance here, the distance here. And then you're looking here. Of course, obviously this is starting where the sidewall is and this is where your issue is. See the difference of the thicknesses? Yep. And then you've got the difference over here. Let's see if you can. And it's really cool to actually see that they care about the sidewall. You know, look how much metal they have in there. So you're saying a lot, some towers don't have this? Well, much? they're not as much. No, it just all depends on where you get them. But see, hmm. look at the distance from here to here to here. You see it? You see what I'm, Can you see? Or am I just. It's, it's hard to. If you're not into tires, it's hard to see the difference. You see the, how the cords are? So and these are and how they're meshed together. So these are different cords, different layers of rubber. Yeah, well, okay. different different layers of how they're weaving them. Okay. Because you can see I, when they say, "Hey, I'm down to three thirty seconds, and I need to change the tire." Well, you can see why, because that's the last cord. You're there. You're done. Uh -huh. You're running cord to cord. You know, cord to everything. So you're on a maypole. See how that is right there. So that is your you're hitting the cord. Yep, that's what that's they it. say. That's that's the cord. That's the cord you're hitting. Why do they call it a cord? Because it's really a set there turn for it. Okay. And then this down here is just like you said, layers of fiber the, and layers, layers of what they're making the tire out of. Well, I don't know, whatever. I can definitely see it. You know, I mean it's, that's the whole difference there. You can see the different how the thicknesses are super close over here and then where our heating issue was. See how they started to separate? Yep. They're not as close as they are. No, I, I can see it. So that is kind of the important thing of why or what they're trying to do. Okay, man, that's a really, that's a really cool, you know, look into a tire we usually don't have. Right, well, because not everybody really cares. And you know, we care about our people that are on them. So they have to understand when you're running on a, a Maypop, Versus, hey, let's get a brand new tire. Is your tire, is your life worth more than 300 bucks? Well, the hell it is, yeah. So, so that's why it bothers me when people don't just pay know, up. Pay up. I mean, that's be really, safe. Yeah, and yeah. it is a. It, for me, it's a mindset too, because I'm not worrying about a damn tire. Because I was starting to wonder about this tire. Right. And see, it's a good thing you did because right here, you know, you've got your well, your other splits and what have you here. But like everything else too, as it wears down, it, it wears the protection out. I mean, it's well, not it's as not only a protection, but think about what water is doing. Oh God! How is. your water? Because you ride in every weather. No man, it's slick as hell. Yeah. I know. Really? At last, I could really tell. <laughs> yeah, and that's really what it is. Because your life, just think about it. Your life is riding on the size of a credit card. Yep. That's it. No matter where you are in your motorcycle, leaning. Going straight, your body is surviving on a credit card. So it truly comes out, of course, the handling. Yeah. And the bike runs to me and feels better. Right. I don't know why it runs better, but it just feels well, it's more gonna, connected. You it, know. It, it, it's going to run better because you have no resistance in your tire. Yep. Your tire is round on a round surface, going in a round motion. Now what you're doing here is that you're changing the roundness. It's not round anymore. Yeah, yeah, and you round you can feel when you go into the corners yeah, it walk start, a little bit. Yeah, start start wanting to slip like this. Yeah, and then just, all of a sudden, yeah. And now here we have the new tire. We throw that up there. You can definitely see a difference. All right, guys, we're going to talk a little bit something here. If you don't know what the numbers are on your tires, Curve's going to tell us about that right now. It's the uh, last four digits on motorcycle, car, anything. There so it was, this is the week it was made, and this is the year it was made. So it was made the 45th week of 2020. No shit. So our new tire is what? 5021. So 50th week of 2021. So if you guys want to know when that tire and it ain't expirated like your nacho chips, you should check it out right there. Right there. All right, cool. Cars, trucks, everything. Cars, trucks, and everything. Whatever your tire may be, you can see what day it was born. It's like a born right there. I did also want to remind everybody to tune in because in about a month, I want to say that, it won't be long, we'll be doing the big board build too. As, oh God, the big board, woo, build. 
That's right, guys. So we'll be here at Pickfield Harley Davidson. We'll be building a 2022 Road Glide Limited. We'll be doing all the latest and greatest mods and upgrades to the bike to make sure you stay tuned to the Honoring one to see that build play out. talking about tires, how they wear and how they hold up. Y'all stay tuned.